All right, y'all, what's up? This is Super Snow. I'm not feeling too good, so I'm not going to make this video a big epic rant or anything like that. Because that's what I originally intended this video to be, just me ranting and raving. But this this problem with Keemstar is, is bigger than just one story. So within, like, uh, the last day or so, Keemstar had basically fucked up really badly and sent his little cronies to fuck with a 62-year-old man. Um, you, you can look it up. Pro I guarantee you won't have trouble uh, finding it. He got his information wrong. He sent. He thought the the old man was a pedophile or a child molester or something. Uh, you know, and, and he sent somebody after him. And they raided his Twitch. They made the old poor old man cry. And then he ended up being wrong. Now, of course, Keemstar has already made a video apologizing. Like, oh, I didn't mean to do it. I've already fired the person who did it. And, da, da, da. and it's just like, you know, dude... I can understand that this was his first defense, you know, but we're talking about Keemstar here, okay? This guy has fucked over so many people's lives, and let's not forget, this is the same man who apparently beat his wife, okay? This is the same man who literally said on stream, I don't give a fuck about you, all I care about is money and I'm set for life. This is the same man who's DDoS people and put out their personal information, alright? Um, this is the same man... Who's literally laughed at somebody whose mother had died from cancer. Alright. This guy has so many offenses going after him that I, I can't feel sorry when he fucks up this badly. Like, he kind of deserves it, man. That poor old man who didn't do nothing to nobody, you know what I mean, is sitting there holding back tears on the street. You can look it up. Like, there's a whole video talking about this. And the poor old man sitting there holding back tears. You don't fuck with the elderly like that, man. What, what kind of a human being doesn't get his facts straight, sends a bunch of little kids, because again, this should not be any adults. If there's any adults who went to that stream and to told that poor old man to kill himself, you deserve to be banned off Twitch and YouTube for the rest of your lives. Like, you, th that's horrible that you'd say that to an old man without even knowing the full facts. Anyways, though, you know, what kind of a human being does that to an old man? You know what I mean? Uh, like if if you look at the police report of the person that they're that they're talking about, it says the dude's first of all fifty nine years old, all right, and that he's he's in jail for life. I don't think you understand what life sentence means. It means you're in there until you die, okay, or somebody kills you in there, all right. And, and they only what they did was they thought the dude looked like him. That's it though. And then they sent everybody, all his little fans after him. This guy has hundreds of thousands of fans. King, I think Kingstar has like over a million subscribers. So you can only imagine the multitude of people going to his stream and fucking with him and telling him to kill himself. It's so pathetic, man. Oh. But the, the, the big question is, should Keemstar be banned from YouTube? In my personal opinion, hell yes he should. This is not the first offense, and I guarantee it's not going to be the last. I mean, look how badly he's fucked up in the last few weeks. I mean, this is like, what, the second story in the last few weeks? Of him fucking up or, or something like that. Or starting drama and it wasn't necessary or something. Dude, it's time, man. It's time for us to band together and be like, look, we don't... You know, I'm not saying anything bad should happen to Keemstar. I don't have any personal ven vendetta against this guy. You know, I, don't, I don't want somebody to kill him. But I think it's time for him to just cut his losses, get off YouTube, and go spend time with his fucking child, man. He, he has a... I think he has like a daughter or something. Dude, it's time to just, you know, if you have a kid, YouTube and YouTube drama and Facebook drama and starting drama and all this shit and trolling, dude, you shouldn't be doing that, man. You know, when I found out he had a kid, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing here on YouTube starting drama between people, man? And it doesn't help that your average YouTuber soaks up this drama and eats it up, you know, like a goddamn black hole, man. They just keep sucking it in. Nothing's ever enough, man. Y'all motherfucking kids out there telling people to kill themselves because some YouTuber told you some information? You guys, you you need to get outside. You need some goddamn fresh air. Because that's fucked up, man. But, um, you know, that's just my opinion, though. I mean, I, I like I said, I got no personal vendetta against this guy. I don't want him to die. I don't want anybody to kill him or anything. But, you know... God damn, man, you, you just can't fuck up that badly and act like it's no big deal and, and be like, oh, well, we'll pay you. Like, dude, the damage is already done, man. No amount of money is going to stop this old man from feeling like shit, you know, almost every day waking up knowing that there's at least a couple hundred kids who are going to fuck with him till the day he dies, calling him a pedophile and a rapist and all that shit. You know what I mean? Like, you just, 
you, you can't. You can't act like it's no big deal. But that's my opinion. Leave yours in the comments, guys. This is Super Snow. I'll see you guys later.